Hello butterfly, how are you? Today I will be doing a flip through of my new precious baby. This is a Hobonichi Techo, I believe. That's how you say it, I'm still not sure yet. And yes, this is a new craze in the planner community. People are going berserk over this kind of stuff. Um, particularly the Hobonichi weeks I believe which is the longer version uh, the reason why I got this wasn't really because of the hype but it turned out that I went to a Japanese bookstore a local Japanese bookstore and these happened to be on sale they had various sizes they had like there was like a bigger one and then there was a medium and this is the smallest one and so I really like the idea of having something small I do realize that as first planners go I do enjoy the um, the smaller size better. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. Okay, um, because you can take it with you, and it's basically travel friendly. You could just drop it in your bag, and you don't have to worry. So, uh, when I purchased this, it came with this little cover here. Um, how do I explain this? Because I don't want to have to take it apart. By the way, this pen was also from a Japanese bookstore, which is the same one, but this one was in New York City, and they didn't have the same prices as the one here in New Jersey. But I got this pen there, and it's just so freaking adorable. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was something like 2 or $3, but I just love it. And it writes really smoothly. The tip... It's not as fine as other pens that I have, but it works. I'm trying to figure out where I can write something for you so that you can see how it writes. Okay, an old receipt works. <laughs> okay, let's see. So it's really black and I think it's gel but I like it and it feels really smooth the actual body of the pen I don't even know if that's a thing I just said the pen had a body but you know you get me right so this is the little star that comes with it yes Nova I love it too I'm I'm doing something right now not right now in a little bit let me finish <laughs> so this comes with this this came they don't all come because i think there was a version where it was just the actual hobonichi the book itself but this one came with this cover here that you see um it goes all around it and it has all of these little compartments here um and it has several pockets right here right here Okay, I'll go into that in a little bit, but, and then here has a couple of pockets going down. Um, you can use it for practical purposes. I'm using it more for decorative purposes, right? And the clear cover that's on it, they do sell it um, separately. So I had to purchase it from, I bought it on Etsy from a seller. Uh, but it's called, I think it's just called clear cover or something like that. There's so many technical terms for all of these things. Um, it's a whole new world with Hobonichi. Let me move this aside because it's distracting me. So, I really, really like it. Let's see, I have my personal, one of my personal recollections planners here. So you can, just for size reference, so you can see this is the personal size recollection planner. And this is the Hobonichi. Um, it's a tad, it's a lot smaller actually. Yeah, I really, really like it. So, 
Um, the case with the book was originally, I think they cost about $60. I know it's steep. It's pretty steep for most of us planner people who love our crafts, but we don't want to spend too much, right? Uh, it was half off because I got it like around the beginning of March. So I guess they were trying to get rid of it. But like I said, I only spotted this in the New Jersey location. When I went to New York, they were the regular price. I was hoping to, to find them cheaper, but they had different colors. This one that I have, it's pink underneath the craft paper because I did insert a piece of craft paper to give it a more decorative, fun touch to it. Um, this one's pink with the green inside. I also saw blue, I also saw green, red, various dif different colors. On the back of here of the clear cover, there's an opening, right? I am not using it obviously because I have a piece of decorative paper underneath, but if you were to use it just with this cover, which is made out of this material, it's like a soft, I don't even know what type of material this is. Would maybe like polyester blend? I don't know, but it's easy to clean, which is great. If you only got, if you didn't buy the clear cover, I think you'd be fine. Um, but I wanted the clear cover so I could put stuff inside like this and I could change it out with the seasons and whatnot. And I like it because it really is fun. So these flowers I purchased and there's this really cute store that I had seen years ago and I finally um, realized there was one closer to me. It's called Flying Tiger. It's like an Ikea but for stationery and bits and pieces of home decor. It's really cute and they have a lot of cute stationery. So they had these like little cutouts and they were butterflies so I had to get them. So the clear, the paper underneath is from paper stack from Michaels. I don't even know which one. No, I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby. This is a scrap from it. But um, I don't remember which one exactly, to be honest. Uh, one of the ma many paper flower packs that I buy. <laughs> okay, so this is the inside. This is the little pocket, and as you see, you would put this clear cover over it. I need to clean it. Um, again, more flowers, just a couple of things. Um, I was just playing around with it because honestly, I felt a little bit out of my element since I'm so used to the regular planners with rings and things. Um, here, so this was me attempting to start to play with it. I felt like I I felt a little bit uncomfortable. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do or how I was gonna, or what exactly I was gonna do here. So just for reference, a lot of people are using these like to, like a fun upscale junk journal maybe, or hmm, you can do a lot of mixed media on here. You can use, the great thing about this is that the, this is called Tomo River Paper and it's so soft and you can use all sorts of Acrylic paint, hmm, markers. Most markers work really well on here. Um, just make sure it dries before you switch pages because it can smear, but um, inks, colored, um, colored pencils, watercolors, all sorts of mixed media products and whatnot. So that's what I think most people love about, about it, the versatility with it. And I particularly love the fact that it's so small, so I don't feel pressured to create these huge spreads or, you know, um, if I miss a day, I'm not like sad that I didn't fill a page. I know some of us tend to feel like that. I know we're, we're a weird community. I know we are. <laughs> And so um, these little stickers are from a little pack that I sent my tia Carla and I kind of stole some from there. But I got them at like um, a gift shop in New York City and they had a bunch of Hello Kitty Senrio stuff. And I just love these, love them, they're so cute. This is just from a paper pack that I have. 
um, mini stickers that we all have and I have a lot when I say a lot I have a lot of stickers but we can't stop <laughs> um, I'm actually trying to stay away from Michaels right now because I am going to go wild uh, if some of you don't know go wild is like this really fun planner community event and my tia Carla was kind enough to buy me the ticket to go to Vegas this year and I am just so excited because I don't think I would have ever been able to go on my own um so thanks to her I've been trying not to buy anything because I know that we're gonna get a lot of swag from what I hear and I'm trying to avoid like shopping for things so I'm just trying to use up my stash which which is good but it's also like I'm having withdrawals and um, let's see so my son is distracting me I'm sorry <laughs> so here I think I want to do more but like I said I was just kind of like playing with it I wasn't sure which direction I was going with this this is just a sticker that I got from a friend and I decided to put it there because it can be like my alter ego type thing all right so here is where like the month start it also has this what is this called month out of you it has this I don't know what it's for I don't know I guess the weekly thing then the monthly and so for the monthly I just do things here and there um, I try to like I want to really get creative with this because I, the possibilities are so limit, limitless and I really, really am enjoying that. I really am. I really like it actually. Um, I thought I was at Planner Peace with my other one, but this, I can see my, I can see myself still working in my recollections ones, you know, for like um, a different vibe. And then this one just being like my journal, my, um, creative space and here I don't care if I mess up nothing has to be too perfect I'm just dabbling with all sorts of things and pens and it's been really fun guys it's really fun um here I just I just kind of backtracked a little bit because since I did get it in March I just kind of backtracked what I remembered from January in the beginning of the year and how I was feeling and all that stuff so I tried to do that and I like that you don't have to feel compelled to like do it every single day and sit down every single day you can take your time backtrack um, I'll use I have a whiteboard on my fridge so I'll usually go back to that and I'll see and I'll see what um, I have jotted down and whatnot so I like that like you have to wait Nova He's trying every which way to get my attention right now. Okay, so I made little tabs for it and I don't know, I've been, I haven't really seen many videos on Hobonichi's or people getting creative in it. Um, I think I saw, I saw one channel, I think it's called Emily Lou Arts and she's very quirky, I like her style and she's the only one I've seen that does like all sorts of things in her Hobonichi's and she's very creative in it and uses all types of elements and mixed media and whatnot. And she created some tabs and I said, you know, I want some tabs too. I think people buy them from wherever. I don't, I don't even know yet. I'm, I'm very new to this. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I can make my own dang tabs. And I was like, I'm just going to punch some little butterflies out from some scrap paper. And that's what I did. I had the scrap paper from a paper pad and it has like a very opalescent finish to it. And um, I just punched out some some butterflies from it. I wanted to show you my punch. Oh, here. And this was the punch that I used. I don't know if you saw it moving kind of fast. So I used that punch. I like that it was pretty tiny. And then I just used glue to adhere it to the page. Nothing fancy. And then it occurred to me, since I've been sampling paint um, and things like that, um, I have a couple of paint sample cards or whatever. And I think these are so awesome for crafts. 
Um, I find that the paper is very durable and stiff, so why not use these to create tabs too? You can use all sorts of punches, um, dies, right? So that's an idea for you. So I just glued the little butterfly, <clears throat> excuse me, up there. So I'm going to flip through a couple of pages. I'm not going to flip through all of them because some of them might have personal stuff. But um, see, like if you can see for January, I didn't really do much because I need to go back and see what I did. And um, for some reason, I can't find that calendar. <laughs> so I did this for February because it's one of my, <clears throat> excuse me, it's my favorite holiday which is Valentine's, so I just wrote a little note to myself. Uh, here, I still need to finish the spread, but that's the great thing, like I go back, I, you know, I move forward, if I get inspired, I'll do a little bit more on one page, a little bit more on another page, and it's just fun. This was one of the days that I went into New York City for a really fun event. Um, here, this was when my brother came from Florida and we went for pizza and whatnot. So I'm doing all sorts of things here. I'm using stickers, I'm writing. Sometimes I'll cover the little saying, sometimes I won't because I actually like what it says. Um, and I just kind of like, I don't care. I don't need to be perfect. The pages can be wrinkled. I don't mind any of that. I really, really love that about this. And then here more. Also what I do sometimes, um, like for example, this was when my brother was here and then this was the next day. So I kind of just backtracked and just said like how I had this happy memory because I really didn't have much to write in here. So that's an idea for you. Um, you can draw, see, and I don't mind when the pages get tinted like that. It doesn't bother me at all. Like this does not bother me. I don't mind that. Um, if it did, like you should always keep that in mind that some some pens and things can can transfer on the back. And you know, you can always use stickers for this spread if you needed to do something on the side. Um, you can also use craft paper and cover that. You know, a lot of ways to work around that too. This was on February 14th. This was for my sister Natalie's birthday. And as you can see, I remember this was one of the first pages I worked on and I wasn't sure what to do. So it's a little bit, to me, it's a little bit dull. I wasn't really sure what direction I was going in and I wasn't sure what exactly I was doing at that point. Um, it was only after I saw, like like I said, a couple videos that I was able to, to start like letting my imagination flow. I feel like we just, we're constantly like in this box and we're afraid to mess up and we're afraid to try new things but this has definitely been fun I really really like it so you can see this is a little lame and a little boring but and this was another one of my first ones so I went back later and added these because I went to Soa's concert here I just wrote like the line to one of my favorite songs of theirs and here are the tickets and I use a little rubber band to this was I got this idea from another video too um, I just used a little rubber band to kind of use it as like a tip in I think that's what that's called and here it's again I backtracked and I'm like oh we had a great time a lot a lot a lot of and that's what I've been doing about yesterday let's see this was the day that I did like my first open mic and I did my first this is how happy I was um, I was able to recite my first my poetry for the first time and then here's a sticker I purchased at that bookstore um, this is was this the day of the Frida Kahlo yeah no no, no, no. This is just another spread I did. And since, like, not every day is full of events or whatever, I just sometimes, whatever comes to mind, whatever I'm thinking of, 
I'll just use that and that's what I'm gonna do for some of the pages in the front like I don't want them to go to waste so I'll just use them like as a creative dumping ground <laughs> see I still have a lot of pages that I need to work on but that's fine um, this was when March for the beginning of March and so the the ink transferred because you can also stamp on these papers the ink transferred from here but I'm fine I don't mind that at all this is when we took the kids to the Liberty Science Center and so I just journaled I journaled a little bit more there that one's a little personal so let me cover that um this oh look and by the way this, these I had noticed like they fit in here quite nicely I got these from Home Depot and so you can use them like for example if you want to protect a page or you want to write something and the other page has dimensional things you can use it to kind of write on top of there so yeah so this was for a snow day and I was playing with acrylics I believe these are acrylics I paid with a, a little bit of my markers and things just to show kind of like the feeling of a snow day and I'm so glad spring is here and warmer days are here I love it I just uh, it just makes me feel alive again <laughs> I don't like winter at all oh man 20 minutes already <laughs> I knew this video would be long but I wasn't sure how long um, here's another example this was for International Women's Day and I just did a bunch of things like I'm loving using stickers. There's something so therapeutic about just placing stickers like when we were children. You know how much fun that would be when you would just grab stickers and just stick them on somewhere? Well, that's how I'm feeling. It just, it's very therapeutic for me. So I'm, that's why I'm loving using my stickers. And so I put a bunch of stickers here. I use different packs and different things that I had lying around. Here, I also like doing this, like having it flip open and then either putting a picture or something. I love that idea and just washi tape, very simple. Here, um, this was for something, oh, for a class or something that I took. And then here, um, this is for, let's see, we went to New York and we were, yeah, we went to New York and um this lady she does at artists and fleas she does hand lettering so she hand lettered my sister and my my name and this is her information she's on instagram she's really awesome so i just i loved her card first of all i love her card and so i just kind of like put all the cards that's another thing i'm loving to do like saving little receipts and cards and things from my day for you know if I go anywhere and I do something fun I'll just say I'll just save those things and here I just tried to watercolor and it does crinkle your paper but I don't mind that at all so that was another spread let me see did I kind of did like little different um see, I in different ways I taped it different ways so that it would be fun I like that and then, and then this was the next day and it this was a picture of our trip to Chelsea Market because I had gone with my sister and we went into the fitting room in one of the shops and we took some selfies so I really liked how that looked and I'm loving my sprocket that I got at Staples I mentioned this in my last video. I got it at Staples for 20 bucks. I'm loving this thing. I'm really liking it. I'm so glad that I found it because I'm having so much fun. And you know, silly old me, I didn't realize that it was sticky paper and I was adding glue to the backs of them. <sighs> yeah, so I'm so bright. <laughs> I love this spread so much. I think it's one of my favorite spreads. Maybe because it's my daughter's artwork. Maybe. <laughs> but this is when we went to the Frida Kahlo exhibit in the Brooklyn Museum. Or at the Brooklyn Museum. Uh, that I cried so much from just 
feeling overwhelmed with joy and feeling Frida's essence there, like through her her clothes and her art. It's just, she's definitely one of my, my life's role models, I guess you can say. And then this is from the day at the exhibition. I went with my daughter, Luna. And I love how that looks. And then this, just a random spread I did. Um, yeah. I like what I like what I wrote here. It says he tried to bury me. He didn't know I was a seed. This this means a lot to me. This was the day I was hanging out with my girls. Luna had come back from boarding school. We were hanging out and we were all wearing pink. It wasn't even like we actually, um, wasn't even like we we decided upon it together. It just so happened like that. And I thought we looked so cute because pink is my favorite color. But it was, I just, I love these girls so much. And then here, just random bits of washi, random stickers and such. And then this was for Nova's birthday. We went to New York City. Um, yeah, we took him to Central Park. And then here I have a, another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love how that came out too. Very cute. We saw some birds in the at Central Park Zoo and they were really colorful and beautiful. So this kind of is representing that. And again, I used some craft paper, some washi to attach it there and just have like an extra little something. Here I was just playing around. I think these were with, I don't even know what I was using here. Hmm. All right, some random crayons I have from Michaels and I was playing around with it so yeah, I like it. Here, I just wanted to add flowers because flowers just make me happy. This was the first day of spring, which is when I found the storefront. So that was an exciting day. And I'm all about blooming. I'm sorry, every time a truck passes, the camera shakes. You can feel everything. All great achievements require time. And it's just, you know, along the same lines of blooming and whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me. And then here's another little thing I added here. An event I went to in New York. I really like this spread too. And here is when I registered my business as an LLC. So it was a really great day. Here, I bought the sprocket this day. So see how excited I was about that. <clears throat> and here I just wrote things down. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my... My throat is itchy because of allergies. Um, so here, I had, um, there's a channel called Unicorn Planner. I believe she's on Instagram too. And she's the one that uses, that has a Hobonichi. She's had it for a while. And she did like a flip where she uses acrylic to decorate her daily. And then she just writes down her to-do list. So I was inspired by her, but... I want, you know, cause I was trying to do different things to see what appealed to me. And I just didn't like the idea of just making this my to-do list. I'll just keep that on my regular planner, my recollections one. And then here, this could be my fun place because yeah, this does not make me, it's a never ending to-do list and I don't want that to be here. So, and I love this spread. This was for my tia Carla because this is her birthday. And I just love, I, I don't even remember what I used for the sky, to be honest, but I love how it turned out so soft. And then I do remember I used acrylic paint 
to kind of simulate stars and things. And then these are stickers. So I played with various things and she loves anything um, that is like night, night themed, night sky themed and stars and galaxies and things like that. So I did that especially for her. And I really like how that came out. And then this day I remember Nova, Nova's dad and I went to eat. And Nova was sniffing his dad and he thought, and he said, hmm, smells sweet. So I just thought that was a sweet picture. And then here we went to Beatles Fest in Jersey City. And it was really, really fun. I got my face painted. And so I took a lot of pictures and I decided to attach them together. Nova got on the microphone. He, he's definitely gonna be some sort of artist or something. He loves to sing and dance. He's And um, here's my band. <clears throat> and here I just wrote down my to-do list for the month and as you can see here's the little tab this and that um, random ideas and things because I've been so busy at the storefront just getting everything ready that I haven't really had time to just delve into this but I've, I'm still doing things and I really like how it's turning out just using stickers whenever I can't fully get into it and I, and I really like it. Oh, this one shifted a little bit. Sometimes the paper allows you to remove stickers easily. This one's not coming off easily. So just be careful because it doesn't always work out like that. I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah. But that shifted a little bit. It was all like that. <clears throat> This was when I went to a special training for advanced holistic techniques. And it was really, really fun. I learned a lot of different things. And then here's another one. So I, I just, I'm loving it. I think this is as far as I've gotten with things. And since I am going, so here I just wanna show you quickly I call it tabs look. I think it looks really nice. I really like it. And I like how they are different colors. Here, I just already marked like when I leave for Go Wild. And so I think that looks cute. And then I put llamas because that's the mascot for Go Wild. Even though I know it's gonna be hard to hear, but I'm not a fan of llamas. <laughs> um, but it's cute nonetheless. I had a random llama just hanging around, so I put her there to kind of symbolize get ready. And then that's that as far as that goes. And then this little pocket here is from Michael's. I brought that stencil. This is my business card. And then here I just stuck my daughter's um, bookmark that she made me a while ago. I love that thing so much. And yeah that's it so I think these are to be used as two different pen loops honestly you can use it however I've seen people use it as two different pen loops or you can use it to close the hobo together and I like that better Let me... yeah. so that's how I keep it and I already showed you the back normally it has um, there's a pocket where the cover is that you can stick things in there too like receipts or whatever but i don't need to do that so yeah that's my hobonichi i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's pretty long but i just love watching these videos these types of videos for inspiration i'm sorry that i was coughing all over the place my son was interrupting me but this is life and um i know you guys understand so thank you so much for sticking around I love you so much and remember, fly free butterfly. Bye.